today i'll teach you how to make use of sql data reader in asp.net mvc so let's start so the very first thing i'll open solution explorer and from there i'll be opening the model class here i'll be creating some properties so the very first property is customer id the second property is name the third property is country so with this our model class is complete now let's move to the solution explorer now i'll be opening the controller we'll start by adding some namespaces so the very first namespace is system.configuration then system.data.sql client now i am creating a generic list collection of customer model class object so here i have created a string variable and inside that i am reading the connection string from the web.config file I have created an object of SQL connection class and I have passed the connection string variable to it in the constructor. Next I am creating a string variable and inside I am passing the SQL query to read the data from the customer's table. Next, I am creating an object of SQL command class and I am passing the SQL query and SQL connection object to it in the constructor. Here, I am making use of SQL data reader to fetch the records from the database table. The SQL data reader is generated from execute reader function of the command class the sql data reader is created inside the using clause so that it is disposed automatically after the task is done the records of the database table is read inside the while loop which will run until the read function of the sql data reader returns a record inside the while loop the data is wrapped in a customer model class object and insert it into the generic list collection created earlier. In the end, the view function is written which completes the action result method. Now again, let's move to the solution explorer. Now let's move to the view. Now I am setting the generic list collection of customer model class as the model for the view. Inside the view, I am now creating an HTML table. Now this is the fixed section that is the header row of our table. So here I am making use of th element and I'll be creating three columns customer ID name and country as you can see I'm using razor syntax and I'm making use of for each loop so the loop will be run over the model now inside the for each loop I am creating a table row and each table row will have three fields customer ID name and country So as you can see, our table is also ready. Now we can run the code and check it. The data from the database has been successfully fetched. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.